Okay, so we're gonna load up right here. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Yo, Andrew, gifting a sub to one person in the community, Alan Lisley, Korean brother from another mother. Dude, Andrew, thank you so much, man. First gift, to, gift sub in the channel. Can we please get some cheers and hearts in the chat, please? And PR, welcome back. Perfect timing. We're just getting started, dude. How you doing? How you do? Yes. I saw that someone's name was something Naruhoto. Pretty sure Naruhoto is something like I understand. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the name of the uh, our, our main character. Uh, Ryo Nosuke Naruhoto. No, but much love, Andrew. Thanks, dude. And Alan, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to the Sam subscribers. Enjoy the badge. Nine emotes. Ad free viewing one month. So the trial is about to begin. <clears throat> okay. So just for some brief, brief context. The trial is, uh, the trial is about a woman that was walking home and then she got stabbed in the back. She didn't die, but she is in the hospital. And, um, the person that we're defending is the accused, uh, who happened to be at the scene of the crime, but we're pretty sure that he didn't do it. So yeah, it's like a brief, short overview of what, what's happened so far. We've done a little bit of investigating around, um, uh, the defendant's. Uh, his house, kind of exploring around his place, see if we can find some clues. But um, yeah, now is the official trial about to start. Um, I'm actually having a soda pop, so the cheers fits. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh yeah, accidentally killed my own companion in Skyrim. Lol, my human shield died doing what it loved, dying. Uh, who 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 is that? Uh, who's that character in uh, Skyrim that, that your first companion? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot her name. Uh, Hype train two suck my dick because I love you and have to watch a movie with Sarah. <laughs> dude, no problem, man. Hope you guys have a good one. Yeah, thanks again for stopping by, Andrew. Much love, man. It was like a choose your answer game. Uh, no, I mean, it is a, is a pretty straightforward narrative, um, but it is kind of like a murder mystery where you have to, you have to gather different, uh, different pieces of evidence and uh, yeah, make the correct arguments because you do have like limited, uh, not limited choices, but you have limited number of chances before you have to like start over. You could always save scum, so it's not like the end of the world, but yeah. Antichamber. <sighs> well, I never expected this. Who'd have thought we'd be back here again so soon? We are on a study tour of Great Britain, with the intention of learning the country's legal practices. In order to research the latest court procedures here, we need as much court experience as possible. Well, yes, I suppose that's true, but... For the person in the dock, it may well be his or her... For the person in the dock, it may well be his or her one and only time in court. And it could be life-changing. In which case, treating it as research may seem a little... Uh, crass. Oh, when you put it like that... Hmm, you're quite right. Oh yeah, I'm totally thinking of Lydia Charsky. <laughs> yeah, says I love you. Bye. Much love, guys. Enjoy the movie. But long, welcome back to the stream, Mystic. Just in time, guys. We're literally just getting started. Easy, cheesy, cheesy. The voices. Oh yeah, dude. Get used to it, bro. You're looking for. You're looking for accurate. You're looking for accurate accents. Nah, dude, not at all. Goofy ass, fucking shoddy ass British accents. Oh hell's yeah, dude. Ah, uh, Mr. Natsume. Good morning. Oh dear, are you all right? Your eyes are terribly bloodshot. I'm smoking a little bit of that. <laughs> the the early bird catches the worm, as they say here in Britain. Yes, I've heard that expression. But I really don't want to catch a worm. So I tried desperately not to wake up early. But I was so worried I couldn't catch a wink. 
<laughs> it has about three ounces of weed. <sighs> and now I'm absolutely exhausted as a result. Do, do all literary people take things so... Literally? Enjoy the lurk, Ingrid. Love your face. Yeah, it was Lydia. Went to swing and I guess I hit her as she was falling. Rip Bozo. <laughs> How you doing, Mystic? But long good to see you, dudes. Iconic. I don't really want to catch a worm, but innuendo possibilities. Thank you for putting your faith in us today, Mr. Natsume. I had nine lives. My whole future hangs in the balance. I'm extremely flatulent. Nemo? Oh no. Hi, Sarah. Welcome back. <laughs> the timing on that fart was quite impeccable. <laughs> I mean, with that face, I mean, he's, he's definitely ripping out. <laughs> Those cheeks are flapping a little bit. I wish I had nine lives. My whole future hangs in the balance. I'm too terrified to tremble. Really? Because I can feel tremors in the floor. I can't do this. I can't take it. <laughs> uh, although, locum student, Mr. Norahodo Esquire. Um, yes? I caught a glimpse of the public gallery as I walked by the courtroom. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. How you doing? <laughs> it looked like the opening night of the opera. There were so many people. I had no idea my case was such a notorious affair here in London. Oh, um, neither did I. Do you know why that might be, Miss Usado? I'm sorry, Mr. Naruhoto, but I have no idea. So that all-knowing look on your face is just coincidence then, is it? the truth from me it's 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 because of the the, the reaper is isn't it uh, lord van zeeks is, is that right mr sato i purchased as many different newspapers as i could find this morning and yes Lord Van Zeeks is on the front page of every one. I... I knew it. Sometime after the prosecutor was dubbed the Reaper of the Bailey. He stopped appearing in court, it seems. It's been several years now, in fact, until the day before yesterday. Y yes Inspector Gregson told us something similar, didn't he? Trial two days ago marked Lord Van Zeke's return to the courtroom after a very long hiatus. The trial of Magnus McGilded. Ugh, what a harrowing experience that was. <laughs> Good to see you, Sarah. Hope you're doing well. Such a stinky little fella. That sound always makes me cry. Like, who makes that sound when they're trying to surprise someone? I know, right? Oh, it's the dude that did too much coke. Yeah, dude. Smoked hella weed before the trial. But cheers, Sarah. Good to see you. Thanks for contributing to the mortuary assistant, guys. I believe that appearance made even greater waves here in the capital than today's. But we wouldn't have realized, of course, having only just arrived in the country. Why is the Reaper back in the Bailey so soon? For what appears to be a mundane murder? That's the question the papers are asking. 
and they are all speculating various answers. <laughs> mundane! Mundane! It's the most significant sock of the century to some of us. Uh, uh, oh dear, I, I meant no offense, Mr. Natsume, but that is how the papers are describing it. Well, lest we also forget the fact that it could spark an international incident, Obviously, the reappearance of this infamous prosecutor has caught people's attention. But there's another blatant similarity with the trial of two days ago. Yes, I agree. Locum student Mr. Narahodo Esquire. It's you. M me Well, I suppose that's true. Both times, it is you who stands against this legendary prosecutor. It, 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 it can only mean that you're friends with the Reaper! <laughs> Please! Actually, hold on. Take two. Please, I don't rub shoulders with, with Deathbringers. afraid that there's really only one other explanation. It can only be another example, Mr. Nis it can only be another example, Mr. Narahodo, of your uncommon bad luck. Oh wow, rude. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, this is just my luck. Why must I be represented by a man with such frail fortune? <laughs> By the least lucky lawyer alive. <laughs> well, let's not forget that it was you, Mr. Natsume, who asked me to represent you. Uh, uh. Yes, it's true that I'm just a student new to London with little in the way of experience or skills or luck. But I promise you this, I will fight your corner until the bitter end, and I will believe in you, Mr. <laughs> Natsume. Oh, benevolent locum student, mayor of Mr. Narahodo Esquire. <laughs> Those beady eyes always get me, dude. The girl voice has me, really. <laughs> He's just like, oh. Neverland. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, Blazers. Yes. Uh, two hours, uh, 20 minutes left to work. How terribly unfun. You got this, Blitz. Looks like he grabbed an ass for the first time and is loving the sniffs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, benevolent, local student, Mr. Narahodo Esquire. You're not alone here with us, Mr. Natsume. Whatever happens, we will always be on your side. <laughs> oh, benevolent non-locum assistant, Miss Mikotobu Esquire S. <laughs> I am in your debt forever. I shall never forget. Mr. Natsume, counsel for the defense. The court session is about to begin. Kindly make your way to the courtroom at once. <sighs> Alright then, Mr. Ooh. Natsume. It's time. Let's go. <laughs> yes! Danny. The sniffs! <laughs> Doing pretty good here, fam. Just making music and sending YouTubers gifts and games. Oh my god, dude. What a kind soul. How's yourself? And, uh, hi, Sonic. Doing really good, man. Glad to, uh, glad the internet is holding up today and we can get back to some fucking Ace Attorney, dude. I've been wanting to play this shit. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, Blazers. Much love, dude. This is it. My second appearance in a British courtroom. And my second trial against 
the Reaper. I hope you're watching over me, Kazuma. Because this time, I won't let my faith waver. I'll believe in my client to the last. Just like you believed in me. I believe I can do this now. I'm ready for this fight. Game always gets me on the edge of my seat. Aw, Sarah, I'm glad you enjoy it. February 20th, 10 a.m. The Old Bailey Courtroom. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session. I now call upon the counsels for the prosecution and defense to declare their willingness to proceed. The prosecution is fully prepared, my lord. The d defense is, is ready, my lord. <laughs> the Nipponese are a truly fascinating breed. So sorry, what? Lord Strongheart has told me all about you. That you are a student who arrived in London but two days ago. <laughs> a mere amateur. Do, do, do you have a point? Being a compatriot, you feel compelled to try to help the accused, I suppose. <laughs> Typical Nipponese arrogance. Forgive me, but I do not believe arrogance is an appropriate description. Susato san? After all, at our previous encounter, the defendant was found to be innocent. <laughs> Very true. And the most fascinating and a most and a most fascinating if dark trial it was too. The tragic conclusion came later, of course. Here's to the acquitted and his unfortunate violent end. <laughs> oh my god, Santa's the judge! <laughs> nice emote, Santa! <laughs> Thank you, counsels. I see both sides are in fine fettle. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, are you ready to carry out your duties here in court as impartial members of the public? Boyd, welcome back to the stream, dude. <laughs> Pato, smato, potato in the loco, cooks mashed potatoes in the potos, sup? Wait, what? <laughs> Are you ready to carry out your duties here in court as impartial members of the public? You'd never know when you might be down on your luck, but I believe in fair play for everyone. Well, uh, I must warn you, I'm, I'm rather more ruthless than I appear. Oh, well not me. What you see is what you get. I'm a peace-loving fellow. I'm afraid to say, I think it's quite possible that Mustache Foreigner did the deed. Come on, what are we waiting for? No doubt he did it anyway. Eh, 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 sorry, I, I didn't quite get that. Eh. My favorite jury member, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Very well. Let us proceed. Your opening statement, if you please, what? Lord Van Zix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well timed. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Look at those triple effects. Can't even see me. It's a good thing. I'm laughing so hard, it's an ab workout. 
<laughs> Wait. That dude's wife this isn't the jury? That seems kind of fishy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Your opening statement, if you please, Lord Van Zeeks. Very recently, Great Britain... Very recently, Great Britain signed an alliance with the rising power in the Far East. The accused in the dock today is a student from that same land, a certain Mr. Soseki Notsume. And while our country has extended this foreign student the warmest of welcomes, regrettably, the kindness has not been returned. In fact, this student is accused of a most sinister act. Of plunging a knife into the back of an innocent woman who was doing nothing but walking down the street. A knife crime! I tell you from Britain experience, those are the worst. Bloody oath they are. Just look at that sallow complexion and short stature. He's... Ooh, he's one of those dreadful Japanese. Come on, let's get this over with. With me now, everyone. One, two, three. Hey, uh, uh, so, so sorry, I, I, I di didn't quite get that. Uh. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. I got house past uh way past bedtime. I got to sleep like 15 minutes ago. So good night, Sam. Have a good stream. Take care, Void. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Pray, forgive the discourtesy of smashing my hollow chalice here in this great chamber. Allow me to call the first witness to the stand. Very well. Bailiff. Lead the inspector in, please. Inspector Gregson, sir, dude. I'm gonna get my water real quick. Lul. Inspector French Fry, yes sir, dude, yes sir, the guy with the unlimited ass fries. Uh, we are the defendant, Devin Two Cats. Ah, uh, the chips making, uh, making restaurant in his own ass, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Your name and occupation, please. Yes, sir. Tell me as Gregson, Detective Inspector at Scotland Yard. Would you please summarize the events of the case for the court, Inspector? The victim is thought to be a young woman in her twenties by the name of Olive Green. I beg your, I beg your pardon, Inspector. Thought to be? Yes. Having been stabbed in the back by her attacker's knife, the victim fell unconscious. That was three days ago now. And she's been comatose ever since. What? So they don't even know for... So they don't even know who she is for sure? Hmm. Comatose, I see. But her life is not in danger? Fortunately for the Eastern student, the charge will not be murder. Pray, elaborate on the details, Inspector. Sir! If I could ask everyone to look at this street map. As I mentioned, the incident took place three days ago, at around five in the afternoon. It happened on the pavement running alongside Briar Road, a wide thoroughfare for horse-drawn vehicles. It had long, long... It had non long it had not long since stopped snowing as the victim, Miss Green, was walking down the street. Out of the blue, she was approached from behind by the accused and stabbed in the back. Ooh. 
Luckily, the young lady's life was spared, and she's and she's currently being treated in one of the city's hospitals. But being unconscious as she is, we've been unable to take a statement from her, of course. This is the case file with everything we know about the victim so far. Thank you, Inspector. The court will accept the documents as evidence, if you please. The case file has been entered into the court record. Still with the fries, huh? Elliot, welcome back to the stream! Cheers! Yeah, so as far as we got last Tuesday, before, like, my internet started having issues, we're just, we're, we're redoing that, so, yeah. We're pretty much almost caught up to the point I, I stopped last time because uh, my internet was taking a dump. How you doing, Elliot? Good to see you. Wait, she's alive? Yeah. She's in a coma, though. <laughs> Inspector shaped like a bratwurst. The owner of the never-ending newspaper of fried potatoes. No! Wait, so the defendant is uh, Mr. Asniff? It is. I wish this game had you choose what to answer, and certain answers change your relationship. So if officers with, uh, so if officers with you, then this, and if you ruin your relationship with French fry officer, you'd have to uh, try, you'd have to try harder to win. Yeah, no, for sure, make it more of like a choose your own adventure. But I can understand the reason why they decided to, you know, keep it a linear narrative, but still give you options in terms of uh, choosing which pieces of evidence, because there is some variation in terms of that. But yeah, I hear you. I hear you. How you doing tonight, Cat? Welcome back, Katharina. Cheers! And for uh, budget reasons, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe that's something they thought about, but they decided not to go with it because, yeah, maybe just they didn't have the budget for it. But yeah, that would add hella replay uh, replayability value for sure. Good morning, Katharina. How you doing on this Wednesday morning? Uh, case file. A file containing an overview of the case and details about the victim. She was found with a knife in her back and is currently in the hospital, yet to regain consciousness. Plus, they ha they would have to do localization for all of that extra stuff. So that's another thing. Yeah, that's definitely going to cost more money. But yeah, no, that, that'd be pretty cool. Not, not debating that. <clears throat> what of the weapon that was used? Sir, I have that here. It was removed from the victim's back. Ouch. That big thing is starting to make me scared to walk down the street now. With a heavy blade like that, almost anybody would have been able to stab the poor woman. Even the scrag looking so Seki-san, I suppose. Hmm. A common or garden jackknife, I would say. Rather nondescript. Thank you, Inspector. The court accepts the blade as evidence. The jackknife has been entered into the court record. A large but commonplace folding knife. It was found lodged in the victim's back. Jackknife? Jack blazers? Blazers knife? <laughs> now then, what do we know of the motive? Money or valuables, I presume? A jackknife? My knife. I did it. <laughs> Instantly thought of you, dude. <laughs> mm hmm. More Ace Attorney. Nasasu. Yes, sir, baby. Ace Attorney. Welcome back, guys. Cheers. Good to see you, Naz. Ah! <laughs> How you doing tonight, man? Devin two cats. You liking those emotes, bro? You liking those emotes, man? We got five follower emotes and you got nine sub emotes. Fourteen, baby. Uh, I might be mostly lurky. I'm so worn out today. It's all good, cat. Hey, thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. That's still support. Love your face. Um. Oh no, Katharina, sick again. Sleeping in bed. It's 7 a.m. Been up since four. Oh no. Can you please get some hearts, some love, and good vibes in the chat for Catchy, for Katharina. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I I get sick quite rarely. Maybe it's the weather. Maybe it's the fact that everyone is sick. Didn't take uh didn't take test yet though. Hey, Katharina. I hope it's nothing serious, yeah? I hope you feel better so soon. I feel like you were just getting over a, a cold. Or maybe it was a cold, I'm not sure. I was helping new monster hunters. Aw, oh, what a nice guy. Hells yeah, dude. Are you farming for anything in Rise right now? Or are you pretty like set on your gear? So you're just kind of doing community hunts? 
a slut for emotes. Emote queen vibes. Yas. <laughs> Mr. Sam K. Prey. Love it. Bat cat. I hope you feel better too. Or, you know, I hope you get re-energized. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no problem, cat. You know, hey, thanks for stopping by the stream. And uh, I hope uh, I hope this makes you feel better, if anything. Hey, went back to world. Oh, for sure, man. Yo, dude, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You double dipping ass. <laughs> Luckily, the cold here has calmed down. It's warmer now. Yeah, no, it's definitely feeling warmer this week, too. It's been like in the high 70s, like kind of like low 80s in Fahrenheit over here in LA. My cat likes when the emotes uh, bounce around, too, but he is abusing my tablet. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, when you see him on the screen. That's, that's cute, man. For sure, totally understandable. I mean, the world's been out for a while, you know, so. Hopefully in due time, Rise will be just the same. <clears throat> now then, what do we know of the motive? Money or valuables, I presume? Hello there. Kirino, welcome back to the stream. Is that is that a better pronunciation of it? I'm gonna be honest with you. I copied and pasted I copy and pasted your name into Google Translate. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Google pronounced this. And I was like, Kirino. Instead of Querino, is it, is it Kirino? <laughs> On a scale of them, it is? All right, for show, sure, dude. Welcome back, Kirino. Good to see you. Good to see you. You are improving. Woohoo! So welcome back. Your favorite characters here. The endless detective ass fries. <laughs> Cheers, man. Welcome back to another Ace Attorney Tuesday. Kirino is French, uh, Portuguese, or Brazilian? Forgive my ignorance. I was thinking it was warm here too, but uh, for this time of year, 34 degrees Fahrenheit is warm. Where are you from, Devon Two Cats? Actually, wait, 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 Devon Two Cats. Hey, hey, you're the. Yo, we met. We met in Zomboid, right? Yeah, you're a pharmacist, right? I think I'm. I think I'm starting to put the pieces together. I think I remember meeting you from Zomboid. Wisconsin, nice dude. Cheers from the US. Yes! I knew it, dude. I knew it. I was like, why does this name sound so familiar? Got it, got it, got it. Well, yo, man. Because, yeah, I know last time you stopped by, like, maybe two hours or so after when I was kind of just getting close to wrapping up. So, glad you can make it to, uh, you know, like the beginning of the stream. Or, like, at least, you know, when we're, get when we're getting started. All the pets to your cat, please. I mean, it's commonly Brazilian, but I think is of por Portuguese uh, origin uh, on its roots. For sure, for sure. You still playing Zom? Oh, yeah, dude, definitely. We I just did a bonus stream of Zom last night. Um, we'll be heading back into Zomboid. Um, so I'm normally scheduled Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So Zomboid for sure, 8 p.m. Pacific on Thursday. Um, and then Saturday morning, I start at 8 a.m. Pacific. But with my parents going out of town, it's not quite 100%. 100% sure yet, but yeah, I'm gonna try to um, uh, do the morning stream at least. There won't be a night stream though, because uh, yeah, I gotta, gotta stay at home, and take care of my, take care of my son. Oh yeah, I know, definitely still playing Zomboid. I'm, I'm so addicted, Devin Two Cats. I just hit 100 mods. <laughs> Here's my mod list if you're curious. <laughs> I'm so addicted to that game. It's been a while. I got sick. Oh shit. Yo, man, I hope you're feeling better, bro. Was it, was it the vid? The addiction is real of Zomboy. Dude, Kirino, you still playing it too, man? <laughs> Ooh, someone say PZ mods? Hey, chick! Hey! We met we met during Zomboy 2. Yeah, and you showed up at the tail end of the stream. I remember you. Welcome on back. Yeah, that's my uh that's my mod collection on Steam. Feel free to check it out. I'm exactly at 100 mods. If I add in one more mod, I must add in 68 more. So that we can hit 169 because I am an adult, okay? Jesus Christ, grow up, Sam! Welcome to twitch.tv slash I'm 32 years old, but I act like I'm two. I'm addicted to PZ myself. Yes, chick. Yes. You got any more of that Zomboid? <laughs> But yeah, Tuesday is dedicated to Ace Attorney, and uh, it's a nice change. Of, it's, it's a nice change of pace for sure. So yeah, I, I definitely yeah, I'm I'm pretty much set on playing this every Tuesday until we beat it. 
Zomboid is so damn fun. Fuck yeah, Hellcat. I know you got a few hundred hours in this shit, man. So much fun. I love falling asleep to stream, so I'm glad you're streaming at night. Hey, Devin Two Cats. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. It was not the panini press. It was heart stuff. Oh, sure. <laughs> that, that's good. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I hope all is well, man. Oh yeah, I played two days in a row all through the weekend. Yeah, dude. 169 is the best number. Yeah, dude. <laughs> or, I mean, if, if you're a chick. Yeah, sister. <laughs> um, hey, I remember chick falling when you were ending. Yeah, exactly, Blaze. was good memory. Hope you're having a great time in the community. Ooh. Yeah, dude. That's such good vibes. I'm so thankful for my community. Hey, I like this too. I'm gonna watch it till I fall asleep. Sounds good, Devin Two Cats. Appreciate it. Cheers, guys. I sent a paragraph. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Yeah, I totally missed that. Um, yes, hopefully. I spent nine hours yesterday um, getting back into World, and I had a blast getting my ass kicked by endgame uh, monsters. Rise makes the hunts kind of easy com compared to world. That's what I heard too. That's what I heard too. But yeah, hopefully in time, you know, with, uh, um, not new game plus, but, um, fuck. What do they call it in Monster Hunter? G rank? That, that'll make it, um, at least a little bit more challenging. Maybe not on the, the same level. You did right on, Naz. I assume you're doing Iceborne? Cheers with my sodi pop. Hells yeah, Devin Two Cats. <clears throat> Alright. <sighs> From what we can tell by looking at the woman's possessions, <clears throat> it seems like she's a poor student herself. Hard to imagine she would have anything much worth pinching, my lord. I see. Well, in that case, are we looking at some deep-seated resentment toward the victim? I'm... I'm afraid I couldn't say. Apart from visiting second-hand bookshops, the defendant, Mr. Natsume, doesn't appear to get out much. Would you like some of my unlimited ass fries? At this moment in time, we haven't been able to establish any sort of connection between him and the victim. Yes! Uh, if theft and grievance had been ruled out as the motive, what reason could Mr. Natsume possibly have had for stabbing the young woman? Yet you arrested the man in spite of that in a totally unjustified and heavy-handed way. Objection! Give the discourtesy of flinging a freshly uncorked bottle into the public gallery. <laughs> but your words have soured its hollowed bouquet. For it is you, my learned friend, who is being heavy-handed here. Uh, what? Scotland Yard does not arrest people without good cause. That should be beyond question. Inspector Gregson, the prosecution calls for your formal testimony. Explain to the court precisely why the, const the constabulary came to arrest the Nipponese student. Yes, sir! Witness testimony. Mr. Natsume's arrest. <clears throat> As I said, it was five o'clock in the afternoon when the incident occurred, and there was an unusually light fog. Visibility was reasonably good, and there was no one else about but the victim and the accused. Out of the blue, the victim was stabbed from behind and subsequently collapsed on the pavement. The accused ran off, scattering his belongings all over the floor. Those being a number of old books he just bought. He was on his way home from a bookshop, it seems. Thanks for the FPS boost. That's right time! <laughs> it was just a matter of working out who the books belonged to, and we found the bloke to arrest him. Old books, you say? Yes, my lord. 
I have a photograph here of the scene of the crime, taken immediately after the incident. Ah, yes. I can clearly see the books to which you are referring. I will take that photographic print as evidence, please, Inspector. A crime scene photograph has been entered into the court record. A photograph of the scene taken by a policeman just after the incident occurred. A large knife can be seen thrust into the victim's back. You Nipponese are a spineless breed. T too cowardly to admit defeat. Denying everything despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Uh, well... I... I... Forgive me, Lord Van Zeeks, but the defendant is not denying everything as you put it. What? What are you doing, Mrs. Otto? Do go on. Mr. Natsume has admitted to playing some part in the incident. Isn't that right, Mr. Naruhoto? Uh, well, now you mention it. When we visited him in the prison yesterday, he did tell us what had all happened. As I was walking along that accursed pavement, I could make out the sole silhouette of another ahead of me. A woman wearing a green overcoat. We a woman wearing a green overcoat. Coat, she was. And just as I went to overtake her, suddenly let out a little scream and collapsed onto the cold, hard slabs of stone at my feet. I was terrified. I had to get away from there. So I ran, as fast as my legs would carry me back to my accursed lodgings. Sorry, Mr. Samke, I had to. Alright, thanks, man. I'll look at that later. Cool. Hmm. A green overcoat? Over... coat. Well, that's exactly what the woman in that print is wearing. Oh my! A photographic print in full color! What will the world come up with next? The defendant has done nothing more than admit he fled the scene of a terrifying incident. That does not mean that he's guilty of the heinous crime of That does not mean that he's guilty of the heinous crime of stabbing the woman in the back. There was nobody else there at the time. Just the two of them, the victim and the accused. In other words, there is nobody else who could possibly have stabbed the woman. A fact that the accused concedes. Ugh. Hmm, it seems this cross-examination could prove to be pivotal, counsel. Proceed, please. Yes, my lord. Nothing for it. I have to use this cross-examination to turn the tables here. It's our only chance. Cross-examination! Mr. Natsume's arrest. As I said, it was five o'clock in the afternoon when the incident occurred, and there was an unusually light fog. Visibility was reasonably good, and there was no one else about but the victim and the accused. Out of the blue, the victim was stabbed from behind and subsequently collapsed on cl subsequently collapsed on the pavement. The accused ran off, scattering his belongings all over the floor. Those being a number of old books he just bought, he was on his way home from a bookshop, it seems. It was just a matter of working out who the books belonged to, and we found the bloke to arrest him. What do you think, Mr. Naruhoto? If you're unable to sway the jury during this cross-examination, I'm afraid that Mr. Natsume's fate will be sealed. 
Yes, they're sure to find him guilty. So, one way or another, I have to expose an... I have to expose an undeniable inconsistency in the inspector's testimony. Okay. So, before... Before we press, before we present any pieces of evidence, um, let's press each of these statements and just get a little bit more out of them. Did a health container count, count just appear in the upper right? Oh, so what this is, Devin Two Cats, is this is the total number of chances. So here, let me let me just show you. So what I can do is, depending on whichever argument that I think. Uh, it's not true. I could present a piece of evidence that serves as a contradiction like, oh, this statement is not true because of this evidence. And if you mess up five times, you essentially have to redo the trial. Now, you can save whenever you want. Speaking of which, I should save right now. I'm going to try not to save scum. But um, yeah, that's essentially what it is, like your total number of chances. So you can't just keep on presenting it like, oh, like, you know, so just to add some stakes to the game, even though you could just keep on reloading, but I, I'm going to try not to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, let's press each of these statements and let's get some more information from Inspector Gregson. Hold it! A light fog, you say? Well, light for London. You could see the opposite side of the street for once. Not much farther, though. Uh, that's light, is it? Around these parts, yes. Not something I'd expect a Japanese fella like yourself to know, of course. I've read that London is famous for its fog. But in my country, people usually imagine... But in my country, people usually imagine that gives... That gives the city a rather beautiful appearance. Oh no, hold on. Somebody want the <laughs> the localization of this line's a little bit off. But in my country, people usually imagine what gives the city a rather beautiful appearance. I think. <clears throat> How quaint. Yes, well, it's not something us Londoners tend to romanticize, I expect you can appreciate. I... I... see. At this time of year, the fog causes a large number of accidents, especially when it's heavy. Sometimes you can't even see your own hand at the end of your arm. Indeed. The other day, I was very nearly trampled by horses before I could see the carriage they were pulling. <sighs> tusado san and I should definitely remember to stop, look, and listen. However, on the day that concerns us, the fog was somewhat lighter than usual. A fact, no doubt, lamented by the accused. Hold on, hold on. Um, let me see. Okay, so this is where the that's where it happened. I just want to review the evidence that we have, just so I have it fresh in my mind. There is a receipt discovered in Mr. Natsume's room for some books that he had purchased from a secondhand bookshop before the incident occurred. Customer, Mr. Natsume. Your books, February 17th, 4.45 p.m. The sum of two shillings tendered in receipt of the picture of Monsieur Lecoq. Lecoq! Lecoq! <laughs> nice. Uh, a meal for Gabriel Canterbury Yearnings. Okay. A file containing an overview of the case and details about the victim. She was found with a knife in her back and is currently in hospital yet to regain consciousness. Uh, 
Toby Kadachi. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I love Toby Kadachi. Piano Man, welcome back to the stream, dude. Welcome to another Ace Attorney Tuesday. And welcome back, Brahe. Cheers, guys! What's going on, Piano Man? How you doing? So he did trip and the knife bumped her. Never mind, I don't know. Uh, there was this little stick person at the bottom of chat. Yep, I see that. I like these little welcomes. So here goes. My name is Chick Letts, and I'm addicted to Zomboid and uh, Oreo cookies. And Chick, I am not addicted to Oreo cookies, but Oreo cookies are amazing. And yes, I am definitely addicted to Zomboid as well. Welcome to Zomboidaholics Anonymous. Take a seat, take a seat. <laughs> yeah, Chick, even though I'm not playing Zomboid, thanks for still coming to hang out. Praise Attorney, I appreciate it. Hope you, hope you enjoy it regardless. We will definitely be back on Thursday for some more Zomboid. You at work right now, Brahe? What's going on, homie? Uh, incident report details young woman rendered unconscious following a stab wound to the back. This is an interesting game. I like it. Hey, awesome. You're more than welcome to hang out. Uh, details young woman rendered unconscious following a stab wound to the back. Uh, victim, olive green, female, stout build, early 20s. Location, pavement of Briar Road, east side. Reporting officer, Rolly Beat. Additional notes. The victim remains unconscious. Her name was her name was gleaned from her personal effects. Other details are unknown. Apart from the single stab wound from the large knife, no other signs of injury were observed. The assailant was seen running away by reporting by the reporting officer and was successfully arrested by uh, arrested the following day. Okay, so let's explore this knife. <clears throat> Hold on, let me... See if we've got any interesting marks here. Okay. A photograph of the scene... Taken by a policeman just after the incident occurred, a large knife can be, can be seen thrust in the victim's back. Okay, and those are Mr. Natsume's books. The heck is a zomboid? Nah, I just got up. Oh, for show, man. Hope work was not too cray cray today. Eating shit nuggets, chilling, still ugly, nothing new. <laughs> this motherfucker, dude. Where'd you get your nuggies? Oh, by the way, job interview today was great. They want a second interview tomorrow, kitty, you know? Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oops. I think we just pressed, so it's, it's okay. We're not presenting. Uh, that is probably a good sign, right? Yeah, no, definitely, Kitty. You know, definitely. You made us. You made a strong first impression. They're like, all right, let's let, let's see him again. You got this shit, bro. Good shit, man. The knife is missing a, a point at the tip. Tip is gone. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Good eye, guys. Um, I'll think about it, Naz, but no plans at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll let you know, though, for sure. <laughs> uh, Tyson made heart-shaped nuggets in honor of Valentine's Day called Nuggets of Love. 15 out of 10. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> Nuggets of love. Okay, yeah, hold on. Um. Okay, all right. Visibility was reasonably good, and there was no one else about but the victim and the accused. And we're presenting him on this. How are you able to state that with any certainty? Or certainty? Quite simply, my learned friend, because that is what the witnesses to this crime have told us. Ah, yes. Inspector Gregson mentioned the witnesses yesterday, didn't he? That's right. One of them is a policeman, I believe, from Scotland Yard. That is correct, ma'am. Then we must hear their testimony. The prosecution will, of course, call them to the stand. 
should it be necessary. But w wait a minute. At five o'clock in the afternoon in the middle of winter? It would have been dark already. No matter how light the fog might have been, no one could have seen... I'm unaware of the situation on your tiny island in the east. <laughs> Welcome back, Nemo. <laughs> Cheers, dude. But I will definitely let you know, Naz. I know you're a huge fan of that Mon Hun. <laughs> oh, wow, you're eating your niece's nuggets. <laughs> Fuck, man, I haven't had nuggets in a little bit. I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Wendy's Spicy Nugs, though. Oh, man, Wendy's Spicy Nugs with some chili. Oh, bro. So solid, man, so solid. Perfect timing. Yeah, dude, Nemo has literally nailed down the fucking entrance, the fart entrances. It's, it's a goddamn science, man. What's going on, Nemo? Welcome back, you legend. Danzix gave him the pull my finger pose. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm unaware of the situation on your tiny island in the east, but here in the capital city of Great Britain, all main roads are illuminated are illuminated in the night by gas streetlights. Ah. Uh, uh. The prosecution believes there would have been ample light by which to witness the crime. Quite. Here in London, for the first time in history, mankind has completely conquered the darkness. Hmm. Which means we really need to hear those witness statements. Ah. Uh, if I could just get through the fog of this cross-examination... Maybe we'll be able to... Uh. It seems the counsel for the defense is... taking stock. Continue with your testimony, Inspector. Out of the blue, the victim was stabbed from behind and subsequently collapsed on the pavement. Hold it! Hold it! From behind, you say? That's right. As you can see from this print. Yes, quite so, Inspector. The handle of the weapon is clearly protruding from the victim's back. And you say this poor woman, Miss Green, remains in a critical condition. C comatose, no less. I'm afraid so, my lord. Yes, she's been treated at Bart's. I was hopeful that she'd come around before the trial started so I could take a statement, but... That's a huge bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Paula Chant with the clutch, with the clutch huge bitches. Paula Chant with the clutch huge bitches. If you guys were here, not not, not, uh, not on last Tuesday stream, but maybe like two, like uh, like two weeks ago on Thursday, man, she was she was on point with the. That's a huge bitch. Shit was shit had me in stitches. Welcome back, Paula. To another Ace Attorney Tuesday. Cheers. Paula, how was your stream last night? I was looking for a little bit before I went to bed. I hope you had a great stream. From behind? <laughs> Dude, Jesus. Please, I'm dying! Hey, Sam had to wait for the ad to uh, finish. I sub-ended, but I made it. Aw, no worries, Paula. Sorry about that. I was hopeful that she'd come around before the trial started so I could take a statement. But it wasn't to be. 